bottom lip is swelling up for some reason. I'm getting nauseous. I'm getting like some kind of allergic reaction. I don't know to what. Yeah, look. Well, don't don't protrude it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not protruding it. There's a whole world of natural beauty, and we plan to capture it all for the Care Channel and Relax with Care. Join us on our mission to bring relaxation to everyone who needs it. All right, the first trip of 2022, and it was a road trip again. The location we chose was Trinidad, California. It's right around the northern part of California where the coast just starts to get rocky. There's still some sandy beaches, but there's still just really cool rock formations on the coast, and that just always makes for super awesome dramatic footage. About a decade plus ago, I was here shooting for the Care Channel on my first excursion trip, the first time I packed up and shipped out for a week. A lot's changed. I mean, that 10 years since, we have drones now, we have sliders and more experience, we have more people on the shoots. Should be an entirely different experience. And you know, back then I didn't even know how to properly research a location. I didn't even know about this specific beach when it came down last time. It was just kind of drive down and see what you get. It's cool. It's cool to look at it through a different, more experienced lens, see if we've gotten any better. So I've got all this gear, got the partner, got all this research. It's a completely different animal this time. I've been there before, I know it should be easy. Day one, <laughs> morning one. You can get all the experience you want, but you can't take the ADHD out of the kid. It wasn't so simple the first morning. I, I think I took it for granted that I kind of knew what I was doing. I was hot shot that this is all good to go. And yet, locations will still location. They're trying, they're trying to let stuff. Can't get any slider shots. It's like something's up. It's like it won't unscrew. My battery pack isn't fitting properly, so I can't get all batteries at once. The camera's just dying on me. So I'm a little bit rustier than normal and having all kinds of little issues, things I forgot. We'll get it done. It's a little tough, like sitting in an office for five months and then it's almost like you blink and you wake up and you're on a beach and it's five in the morning and you have to just start thinking differently but it seems like Ryan was having some actual issues on his beach. I got out there and I forgot all these little elements like little tools to adjust tripods to different things, uh, lens cloths, uh, wrenches. I forgot my phone so I couldn't fly my drone. We fly our drones with our phones. They're part of the remote control so actually Ryan couldn't fly his drone so that was pretty frustrating for him. He, uh, he was having battery trouble. His camera kept turning off. And then there's people everywhere. I mean, nothing experience can do for that. A little dog running in, oh God, I love dogs, but that dog just kept running in and out of my shots. Come on, come here. Go. Thank you. This beautiful shot with the light rolling down the beach. Couldn't get it. Puppy! Puppy, come here! Ryan also had an allergic reaction and his face started swelling up and he started just kind of looking a little poofy. Well, don't, don't protrude it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not protruding it. There's something, one but my knee and my elbow and my back. Dude, there's something, you see it? I don't know. It's very slight, but I can tell. I can feel it. Yep. And your bottom lip looks like an earthworm. <laughs> That's weird, I don't, like I ate, I eat that stuff that I ate this morning. I eat it every day, nothing different. This is what he gets for making fun of me for being allergic to bananas. He eats a banana and swells up. It's not from the banana. It can't be from the banana. It's from the banana. It can't be from the banana. I you're eat bananas every day. Now you're allergic to them. It's a 
allergic to bananas. It went away. We went and got Benadryl and uh, we were able to kind of just at least curb the allergic reactions he was having. Do they have one that's non-drowsy? I think one of the beauties of being in a location like this that's so accessible is we've been able to try multiple locations multiple times. We knew we wanted to nail it with the Redwoods. So we hit up, uh, I believe it was Prairie Creek Redwoods. We split up again, just multiple trails that just kind of go all the way throughout the Redwoods. And uh, here I was able to shoot with my 360 camera for our VR product. And I just really wanted a good Redwoods shot with the 360 camera. There's so many people out there, their perfect peaceful situation is just in the middle of the forest. This is uh, an alien that I stole from its home planet. This is called the Insta Pro 2. It's six cameras and it kind of looks like it's alive. This is why I like it. It's a pretty high quality 360 camera for what's out there on the market. Each of these lenses has its own sensor, its own camera. And I'll import it into a software later and stitch it all together to make it this 360 degree viewing angle. One of the fun things about shooting this is I get to monitor on my phone and sort of, you have to go hide when you shoot this kind of footage because it sees every single direction. So I can't just stand behind the camera like I do a care channel shot. And there we are. Check, check. <laughs> Hello world. Hello world. But I was able to put the VR camera in some really cool situations. Like I put it right up on the prairie creek so you see the creek flowing through the woods. Um, I thought that was a nice situation. I shot a couple more where it was I was just in really dense forest. I just kind of wanted to, to mix it up a little bit but I, I think I got what I needed. I'm hiding from my own shot. I can still if I, if I look later, I'll probably still be able to see me doing this, but it'd be easy for me to remove. Sometimes it's a little bit harder, um, so I have to just completely hide behind a rock or under something or just run really far away. So I'm just like a little speck in the shot, so it's easier for me to erase myself. The next thing I really wanted to do, and it's a little bit dangerous, but I really wanted to fly my drone through the woods. It's really hard to get a sense of depth when you shoot redwoods. It's really hard to just know how dense and how deep, how far away things are when you're shooting just with this regular camera. So one of the things I really wanted to do was to take a drone and actually just move it through the forest. Almost like from the perspective of a hiker, I was able to flow through the path and flow past a lot of trees and those shots ended up being really cool. I'm just walking with it. Me and the drone are going on a hike. That's all. Nothing crazy. It's so tough to shoot this. There's so much stuff. There's just moss and trees and shrubs and it's just a density of things in your image and it almost just looks like smudged paint. It just looks like colors on top of colors. It, it's hard to differentiate things from each other and it can kind of look flat. You don't really get the sense of depth we do when we're just standing here. So one of the challenges is to just see if we can shoot it in a way to where you can feel that depth. One of the ways is to move the camera so you can actually see some parallax between foreground and background. Then you actually get a sense of depth. Things are further away from the camera. Things are closer to the camera. We can actually experience depth. We can actually fly you through the forest so you can get a sense of just how deep it goes. And the more and more I pushed through, the more it revealed extra parts that I couldn't even see with my eye at the time. I could see through the drone. So I'm, I'm really happy with those shots. 